Hello, Facebook, YouTube, sun shining so bright. Goodness gracious, it's shining. But, gotta preach anyhow. I want to tell you, talk to you about you are an artist. Yep, you are. Everybody in this world is an artist. But what pictures, and we paint pictures every day of our lives we are painting a picture and while we paint a picture we hang it up in our gallery in our in our mind you know we paint a picture and we we have this gallery of pictures of our life story concerning you know why we're at the place that we are at right now and we got to be aware of that we are painting a picture, you know? And the thing is, in that painting, of course, there's bad experiences, good experiences, you know, that happen in your life. But here's the thing, to what extent and how they affected you is how you will paint the portrait of, of, your, of what happened, you know? is how those good experiences or bad experiences affect you is how you will paint each and every picture and you will place in your art gallery in your mind that you will go and when you start thinking or contemplating on your life you'll start seeing these pictures you know when you yeah more likely when you contemplate that's what takes place. You're like walking in an art gallery and you're seeing your accomplishments or, you know, your failures, your disappointments, your success, you know, uh, all kind of ideal of paintings of your life. You know, the, you know, the, the achievements, the downfalls, you know, all in the art gallery in your mind. But what, but what you have to understand that if when you have so much uh, failure or negative things that happen or bad experiences that happen in your life or something bad happened to you or you did something bad to somebody else, well, of course, Jesus is supposed to come and he's supposed to, you know, forgive us for what has happened and he's supposed to cleanse us for our sins. Now, here's the thing that, you know, people need to understand about, you know, what the past bad experiences that happen in your life. The thing is, God don't, like, people talk about, you know, forgive and forget, you know. You know, people think that, you know, forgiveness is forgive and forget about the bad experience that happened. Well, no, it's not really forgive and forget but it's really forgive and remember. Now, so you say, Mac, that sounds kind of drastic because you don't understand what I've been through. You don't understand what happened to me. You don't understand what I did to somebody. I cannot forget about what happened. And it was so tragic. It was so bad. It was so horrendous. And it was so devastating in my life that it caused bad things, so much negative happened to me and, 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 and it affected many people and I feel so bad and feel so terrible about this thought or about this art picture that I, you know, painted, you know. I feel so terrible about what happened here. But I'm going to show you that, you know, no, you're supposed to keep that picture in the art gallery. And the reason why you're supposed to keep that picture in the art gallery is that, you know, you have to find, uh, well, I mean, here's the thing. The, the children of Israel. The children of Israel, well, you know, concerning you, you know, know about the story of Joseph. You know, Joseph, you know, uh, of course, interpreted a dream about the, you know, seven years famine. And, you know, they store up, you know, seven years for the seven-year famine. And he, 
he saved, you know, really nations from starvation. And the thing is, in that process, ended up having his people into slavery. You know what I'm saying? His people came into slavery by, you know, the other Pharaoh, as you read the story. And, you know, they, you know, got into slavery. And now, you know, a good, a good situation that happened here that you now, you know, s save nations now ended up having you enslave your people. You know what I'm saying? And you will look at that story like, uh, whoa, this is bad. This is terrible that your people in slavery by a, 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 a pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? And of course, we say we get in a shoulda, coulda mode. You know, you shouldn't have even, you know, went to, you know, Egypt, you know, in the first place. And this thing wouldn't happen, you know, like it, it's happening right now. And you will think, you know, oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is bad. People in slavery, you know. But, you know, that the, if you keep watching this story or reading the chapter, you know, God sends Moses to help deliver the people in Israel, you know what I'm saying, from slavery. And, you know, the sequence that happened in that, you know, it was, you know, difficult for the people. You know, the people that Sparrow said, you know, tell the people to work as hard, you know, give them uh, t twice as much work as they used, they have, you know, and bad things was escalating. But until the 10 plagues, you know, happened to, you know, Pharaoh, you know, all of a sudden, you know, they were set free. And they were set free from, you know, uh, Egypt. And now they're going to get to their promised land. And, you know, you know the story that, you know, they get to the promised land or well, they get to the Red Sea, you know, and they're, you know, near, you know, and Pharaoh's army comes right behind them. And, you know, they're in a place of difficulty. You know what I'm saying? They go to, it's like up and down, up and down, roller coaster. You know, could you imagine that picture, art gallery? You see this art gallery of all this negative and all these positive things happen, negative things and positive happen. But then all of a sudden, in spite of all this negative and positive things happen, a miracle takes place. A great miracle takes place. And that great miracle proceeded of the Moses. God listened to Moses and told him to lift up his rod. And the sea parted. And the uh, children of Israel, of course, went through the sea and, and w were saved. And the Pharaoh's army went, you know, on the sea and they drowned, you know. You saw the people that oppressed you for all this long time, you know, for a long time, drown right in front of your face, courtesy of Yahweh. And now you see these pictures of, of, of if, you, if, if you took pictures of this art gallery, you know, it, if, you were, if you were stuck at the slavery picture, you know, which people be at, of course, you will think, oh, God, God is a bad God. Oh, God let his people in slavery. He's a bad God. And don't go and check out the other pictures, you know, you know, that's in there that leads his people out of slavery and delivers them. You know, you will think that, you know, uh, he's a bad God. But of course, you know, the scripture, he takes the good things and the bad things and work it together for the good. But here's an important reason why you should keep, of course, I hope I showed you that, you know, a, a important reason you should keep that negative thing and remember that negative thing. The thing is, it's called appreciation. The thing is, you appreciate where God placed you. You know, it's like what the Amazing Grace song says. I was lost. Yes, I was lost. But now I'm found. You know what I'm saying? I was blind, but now I see. In this art gallery picture, I was lost. But in this other picture, I was found. If this picture, I was blind, 
But now I see. Now, why is it important to have these two pictures here? First of all, see, this is what people get, you know, to the place that they forget, you know, that you be all through the scriptures. Jesus, God, everybody said, remember. God said, remember the, 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 I, that I delivered you from bondage out of Egypt. You know, God told the Jewish people to remember that, you know, the Passover, remember the Exodus. And Jesus want us to remember, if you eat eat of the, my blood, the you know, and eat drink of my, you know, uh, flesh, uh, drink of my flesh, eat of my blood, you know, you remember me. You know what I'm saying? And all the scriptures talks about remembering, remembering, remembering. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, I see people, they, you know, live their life that they forget that, you know, you... You're not at the place where you are right now by your own ability. You're not at a great place because of you. You know, you're at a great place because God and Jesus died on the cross for you. Or in a sense, God delivered the you know, children of Israel out of bondage. That's why you're at the promised land. Not because of your own ability that got you here. But, you know, we have to remember that, you know, that's what the cross, when you see this cross, it's all about. You know what I'm saying? That Mac did not get here by his own ability. It's by the uh, forgiveness power of, you know, God sending his son Jesus Christ to, you know, to deliver me from out of bondage. Mac Johnson is here. If Mac Johnson start believing that, you know, he's here because of his because because of him, he's a fool. That's what I just say. I'm a fool because I did not get where I'm at right now by my own ability. It's by the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ, of God through Jesus Christ that I am here. And that's why we must keep those ugly pictures of our life that the horrendous tragedy and bad things that happen to us in our picture to testify of what God did and what through Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? To testify. You know what I'm saying? That I once was abused, but now I'm healed. I once was, you know, in a, a, a addict, a drug addict, but now I'm delivered. I was once was, but now. And that's what is important to keep those pictures in your art gallery. Not to forget them, because you start getting amnesia to think that, you know, you're at the success that you're at right now is by your own ability. And that is a foolish thought. But it's by, of course, the love of God through his son, Jesus Christ, to, you know, give us the grace and mercy to live each and every day is the reason why we're living. So I hope that you understand the art gallery. And guess what? You paint the pictures, though. It's for you to paint these pictures. You know what I'm saying? These pictures are not going to paint themselves on their own. You paint these pictures. More likely, you create the thoughts, the, the imagination of our thoughts. And you put that, uh, you know, those pictures on there. You know what I'm saying? That says, say, hey, you, you once was a, a drug addict. You was once a prostitute. You was once a bad person. Yeah, that's what I once was. But now, you know what I'm saying, that you can tell, keep in your mind that will continue appreciating the life that you're living and making you a better, better person and making you, of course, I hopefully have a closer relationship with the one that made you better. You paint the picture. You're the artist. It's up to you to how your art gallery is going to look in your mind. All right, I hope you got that understanding, okay? To God be the glory, to Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.